Hi everybody, and thanks for joining us. My name is Chris Apoliski, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager here at Sabre Dev Studio. Today I'm going to give you a high-level overview of Dev Studio. I'm going to get into various aspects, including documentation, resources, and tools. And I'll even just very quickly touch upon our blog and how it gives you the latest information on our entire portfolio of APIs and industry happenings. So basically, we're going to discuss all of the things that we have set in place that will help you succeed as you reinvent travel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So you can go to either developer.saber.com or saberdevstudio.com. It's going to redirect to the same place no matter what. If you haven't registered, go ahead and in the right-hand side here, click register or sign in if you sign in. Um, what this is going to do is keep you obviously logged into everything in Dev Studio. And when we sign in or register, uh, it gives you immediate access to app test keys for our sandbox environment. And those can be accessed by clicking on my account over here, and then it'll take you through everything. Um, now, I'd like to talk about main areas of focus for Dev Studio. Uh, the way I see it, we're divided up into three areas of main focus and then three sub areas. The main areas being documentation, resources, and our tools. Then, of course, we have additional services, generic about information, and a blog where we keep you up with the latest and greatest. So, for right now, let's go to documentation and go to APIs. Now, our services include a broad portfolio of both SOAP and REST APIs. I mean, this is anything from searching for content to managing a trip. If we look in the left-hand nav here, we see different REST basics. We see REST APIs, different categories here, air, car, hotel, utility, ground transportation. Same thing with SOAP basics and same thing with SOAP APIs. Now I'm going to go ahead right now and get through our REST APIs. Um, our REST portfolio of APIs provides pow powerful and flexible APIs and new ways for building travel applications. So you're searching for travel in innovative ways. It's an API technology that developers seem to love in today's world. It's easier to adopt and it's definitely optimized for modern platforms. Now when we look over here we can search through a keyword filter. We can look through different categories. We can look through different functions. We can reset everything. Uh, it should be noted also if you're developing mobile, REST is awesome. So I'm going to show you an example of an API. So we're going to go look here through, say, lead price calendar. Now, if we expand this here, it's going to give us an explanation of what the API does. We can see here for category, it's for error, and it's a search function. You can click the name here or the documentation. It's going to take you through uh, kind of our API page and how we document everything. It basically gives you a high-level explanation of what the API is, what it does, some use cases. We look at HTTP method and endpoints. We've got a request, a response should come up next here. And then we have code examples of the request and response. Um, so you can see how it works, plus usage notes and then error lookups. So all of this looks the same for uh, every every API. That page will look the same. There are really cool things such as Destination Finder. Uh, this is an inspirational shopping service that allows you to find where you can go to based on a budget and theme, you know, that sort of thing. And that page will look very similar to this when you click on it. I'd like to go over here, function now, and as you can see, there's search, intelligence, or utility. Uh, let's talk about our intelligence APIs. Uh, we have new sets of intelligent APIs that allow you to complement the shopping experience and bring new experiences to people, such as providing more information to give confidence to the end traveler, or when to buy, or what others have paid for, insights on top booked fares, this sort of thing. So let's go ahead and look at the fair range API. I'm going to go ahead and open the documentation in a new tab here. Um, and we can see this shows you average prices that others have paid for fares in the last four months. And when we look at it, as you can see, it is very similar to that other documentation page. We've got requests, responses, examples, everything that you're going to need to know. I'd also like to just quick breeze over if we look for function and we look utility in our REST APIs. Utility APIs are for encoding or decoding airline and airport codes, autocomplete widgets for creating an airport lookup, and many others. Um, of course, this is just a really, really quick explanation of some of our APIs. It's just a glimpse into our portfolio. So while you're here, feel free to check out the many more that are part of the broad portfolio and think about how that can kind of get you started and get you going with what you need to go. Another thing we should definitely talk about here is our API Explorer. So if you go to Tools here, you'll see multiple resources, but the key one you want to try out is the API Explorer. Now from here, you can make test calls to our REST APIs directly from Sabre Dev Studio using provision keys to our sandbox environment. Now these same keys that you use on API Explorer, you can also use in your local developer environment. Um, so let's kind of just go through an example here. We'll see, we'll change the existing credentials to your credentials and click Get Access Token. 
and then we've got what we need there. So now let's look at lead price calendar. Now if you remember from me talking about lead price calendar, this API allows you to find the best time to travel to a certain location within the next six months and you can search for multiple lengths of stay. So we're going to go here just for fun. Let's change JFK to DFW. Why not? And we've got a five day duration. That's all we are interested in looking at right now. So let's quick try it. Now you can see here the detail of the request and response directly below. There's a JSON response that comes back. We have the request URI. We have request headers here. We have your response status. You have response headers. And then there's the important part, the body. And this gives you everything you need to know in a test environment. So we can see here, for example, our origin location, our destination location, fair info, fair information, currency code, departure time, departure date, uh, everything you would need to know it takes you through here. Just remember, you can make test calls to our REST APIs directly from Sabre Dev Studio using provision keys to the sandbox. So. While you're in here, the API Explorer is really important. Make sure you're familiar with it. We should also talk about our resources. We have a lot of resources to help developers get up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, we offer resources such as the Demo Gallery, where here developers can see a small sample of what can be built using our APIs and truly understand kind of the art of what is possible when it comes to building solutions using Sabre technology. Uh, we keep it there for a little inspiration and we make available the source code used for some of the apps. Uh, in the demo gallery here, you can find anywhere from live applications to play with to video mockups, you name it. So, for example, let's look here right here at Escape. A download source would take you to our GitHub. Uh, if you were to go back there and click on Launch App, there's an actual web app that this will bring up that you can play around with and just see how it works and get a feeling for how this inspirational shorter shopping works. Or you could also click on Play Video where it's going to give you an overview of the web app itself. Um, now, we also have sample code available. So up here in resources, let's go to sample code. Uh, the sample code is in different programming languages and it helps developers get started quickly. Uh, either full-blown applications that are part of our demo gallery or even little snippets of code for a variety of different technologies, anywhere from Java, Ruby, iOS, Node, anything to you know, name a few. And we host these in GitHub, uh, which is an open code repository used by developers all over the world. So let's just open this up in a new tab here. And as you can see, it'll take you directly to our GitHub page. Uh, within resources, we also have a best practices section. Um, this shows common best practices when it comes to adopting Sabre technology. It has insights from product experts, Sabre engineers, and even feedback directly from our customers. Uh, that'll go through best practices of some of our APIs. Um, then under resources, there's also a support community. Um, our support section provides links to our Stack Overflow channel. Uh, this is where developers can post questions and get feedback uh, you know, from any of the open developer community. This includes a support desk, Sabre engineers, broader technology experts, you name it. So um, this will take you directly through the Stack Overflow. Um, it also has you know, the FAQ page, which is also listed here under resources. Um, it'll take you through a release notes or contact is available. So another thing and a final note to notice that we talked about was the blog on Dev Studio. Um, our developer blog uh, can help you stay on top of the latest and most important information that we channel to our developer community. So you're not only learning about new services, but also best practices for developers when it comes to adopting Sabre technology. So, for example, here is a blog recently released uh, through about the Structured Fair Rules API. Um, it's going to tell you kind of what you need to know for different phases. It's got a sample workflow here and XML request and response examples. So, you know, the blog is a very, very good resource as well. So that kind of takes you through some of the basics of Dev Studio. Um, there's more and more coming this year, that, you know, being that we're always evolving our developer experience and we're providing more and more resources and tools for developers in order to build applications that continue to help you guys reinvent travel. So definitely stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for listening to me give you kind of an overview of Dev Studio and, you know, happy coding to everybody. And I hope everything goes really well. Thanks, guys.